Sorry, we're here with uh, Cleveland State head coach Gary Waters, and uh, we're at Midnight Madness. It just concluded. Uh, what'd you think of uh, how the night how the night unfolded tonight? Well, I thought students came out. We had a complete completely filled gym. I thought all the uh, activities went well. I thought the the drum group did a great job, or the Bucket Boys. I thought they did a great job. I thought the slam dunk contest went well. I thought both teams meshed together well, and I thought the, the fans supported us. That's all you can ask. For. Would uh, Kate? Would have killed you if uh, something would have happened to her player getting dunked over uh, like that? Oh, yeah, I would have been a little concerned <laughs> about that. But, you know, he had to try to win the contest. Uh, and uh, what have you seen from your guys so far uh, in the early early well, going? We haven't practiced yet, but I expect us to have a good practice tomorrow. And, and they're, they're excited about it in the preseason. They did a great job working out and conditioning and, and doing their individuals. I think they're ready to go now. They want to play some live basketball. So, uh, Trey Herman, you're a senior now. Uh, how does it feel? That's good, man. You know, I'm excited. You know, can't wait for, for the year to come up. We got a lot of good freshmen coming up this year. We're we'll about to do a lot of big things. Okay, you brought up the freshmen. Uh, who's impressed you so far that you've seen? Oh, all of them, man. I can't. I mean, I can't just pick out one. You know, from Antown all the way down to you know Silk. You know, um, Bill Charlie, Marlin. I love all of them, man. They're gonna do a lot of big things. This year. Uh, Coach Waters at the uh, media gathering earlier this week before you know you guys started practice and mentioned uh, the senior uh, how the seniors are like kind of on a committee right. to uh, be a leader. What's your role on that? You know, my, my role is to lead off and on the court. You know, I gotta lead these young guys as much as I can. You know, we got a lot of experienced guys, but at the same time we got people that have been through what we've been through. So I gotta teach them as fast as possible. So another trip to the NCAA this year? Oh yeah, definitely. All right. Appreciate it, Trey. Good luck this year. So here we're with Jeremy Montgomery, uh, point, or, uh, guard for Cleveland State. Uh, you're a senior now. Tell us uh, about the four years so far. Oh, man, been a great experience out here in Cleveland. Uh, just getting all the exposure. Just being really excited for these fans coming out, getting back to the community. It's been a great career for me. This last year, I'm uh, getting Cleveland much more. And what do you uh, see coming up this year? Uh, what do you think of these freshmen that are coming in? Yeah, come freshmen, you guys going to be a lot of exposure, a lot of talent coming in. It's enough for us to uh, do what we want to do this year and all set all our goals and uh, make it happen. So we're we'll looking forward for a second year. Uh, Gary, uh, Coach Water said uh, at the media gathering on Wednesday, he mentioned the um, – the formation of like the senior committee. Can you tell us? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's more not really the captain thing this year. We got a lot of uh, seniors coming up this year. Uh, this year, you just got it like us four coming in and just leading the guys. And the senior council is really good because we come every every week we meet as a whole and uh, just like four of us and just the head coach of course. You know, we just come up with some ideas and to keep us on track, to keep us motivated for the season. Uh, it'll be going well this year. Man. We're looking real good, looking forward, looking excited to bring the championship to Cleveland. Appreciate it. All right, we're, here, we're here with Devin Long. He's a sophomore forward, uh, center. Uh, how do you uh, you lost a lot of weight this offseason? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, well, yeah, my, my coach told me they want me to play a special position and get up the floor quicker. And uh, I know I'm dominant around that basket, so I want to make my moves quicker and be quicker. So this offseason, I spend a lot of time in, uh, in the weight room, running the treadmill on the track, uh, getting my body ready and in better shape. What do you see your role on the team as being this year? Um, basically coming in, finish around the basket, rebounding, uh, lifting the team up, uh, being a dominant post player, basically. So when I get the ball, score under that basket, I'm going to be a real good dominant post player for this team this year. Uh, having one year under your belt, how much does that help? Uh, that helps a lot, man. I got a lot of experience. So the second year is really going to help me and uh, get me going. The first year was a learning experience, you know, to college. It's been uh, tough so far. I came here in the summer to do a little early workout. You know, so it, got me, it got me right. I'm uh, working harder. You know, to be uh, better in classrooms. I got three days right now. I'm still trying to like, get better. But this is a good campus, though. You meet a lot of new people, different cultures, everything. Uh, you played with Devin a little bit in Detroit, I imagine? Yeah, I played against him sometimes. You know. Of course, my team won. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I played against him. He's a real tough opponent. So, uh, what do you see your your role as uh, being on this team? So, or uh, you know, as a freshman? Uh, probably, uh, 
shut down because uh, Ray Enzi with the bucks, blocks, the hustle player, that's it. What are you learning from all these seniors? You got to work hard to get where you want to be. If you want to make it big, you got to work big. We're here with uh, freshman Anton Grady from Cleveland Central Catholic. Uh, big time recruit, Clevelander. Uh, what do you think of uh, Cleveland State so far? I love it so far. I feel like it's home already. Even though I'm staying home, I feel like it's an extended family. I love the guys and I love the coaches. Um, you were around the team a lot watching the games last year, uh, you know, from from the stands, obviously. Uh, how much do you think that helped coming in? Um, I mean, it gave me a good, a good view to see how the team played with the, with the coaches' aspect, the intensity of the game. Like, I, I, got, I got to see front row. So, like, I, I, that doesn't make me decide to come here because I see how you play. And uh, what were you looking out for when you were watching? Um, like, how they play guys in my position, how coach, like, I, I coach is doing situations, good and bad, and I love it as a game the community. Uh, and obviously, Earl, uh, Earl Boykins, uh, you're his nephew? My cousin. Cousin. And uh, what did he tell you about Coach Waters and, you know, what he uh, stands for? He said Coach Waters is a great coach and he's going he's gonna to bring the best out of you. And he's, a, he's a great guy to be around. And that's somebody that he wants me to Does it help with, you know, them producing two NBA players in the last, you know, last three years? Does that... Uh, is that something that you aspire to do? Obviously, it probably is. I mean, I always, when somebody always asks me that question, I always say, God bless me. God bless me to get in the gym and work hard on my game every night. Now it's, it's, it's all in my hands to perform on the um, You're a freshman, so obviously there's a learning curve. What do you see your role as being this year? Um, I think Coach Burton needs to, to, to crash the board hard and get a lot of rebounds and block a lot of shots and show up on defense a big time. I saw your uh, state championship uh, runner-up finish last year. Thank you. you look really good. Looking forward to watching you. All right, we're here with Charles Lee uh, out of Milwaukee, and then he went to West Virginia uh, prep school in West Virginia. Uh, I've been around this team for a while now, and uh, any time that Coach Waters would bring me up, he had good things to say about you. How'd you earn that reputation? Yeah, starting young, working hard from the beginning. I started in fourth grade. He's been working hard since then. And uh, what do you see yourself bringing to this team this year? Um, a lot of leadership, toughness, defense, um, competitiveness. This team, we compete and we work hard. Um, what have you learned from the uh, the seniors that are on this team? Don't take no days off. Always put an extra to get you over. Just being average ain't going to do it. We're trying to get champions. Um, can you talk anything about the uh, – I- uh, what can you tell us about your uh, teammate that you're uh, bringing along here? Um, my teammate, he grew up since fourth grade, named Darnell Harris. He's been very committed here, and um, he's a great shooter. He's 6'8", he got lead long, and he's a great scorer. Good teammate. Um, how much does it help that you see Gary, you know, produce two point guards that went to the pros? That's big time for me, because... He let his guards play here, and uh, that's why he gave me a chance to come here. A lot of schools didn't look at me that way, but he gave me a chance to show me what I could do. And uh, you were recruited by some uh, pretty yeah, big name schools. I got about 10 offers Division I. Uh, the school, the, the coaching staff, they had a good relationship with my family, so they were, they've been recruiting me since I was like at ninth grade, so first, so it was the right thing. Them being on you early really uh, yeah. helped seal the deal. We're here with Ike Wamu, uh, champion of the dunk contest tonight. Uh, you went viral on the internet for your dunking prowess. Uh, how was your experience tonight? Did you bring your best show? Oh, yeah. I just wanted to go out there and give the crowd a show and uh, show everybody what to expect when they come out to the game. So uh, what brought you to Cleveland? Uh, um, great coaching staff. The coaching staff, they're all great people. You know, they have Cleveland staff an up-and-coming program. I feel like I contribute to that. And uh, they also have great business school. Financing happens to be my major, so I feel like it's the best choice for me. Um, as a freshman coming in, you're going to be competing for minutes at guard because it's so stacked. What do you see yourself bringing to, your, to this team this year? Well, I, can bring, I can bring whatever coach needs. So I'm, the, I'm the type of the guy that can uh, do whatever coach asks me. So uh, whatever he wants me to do, I'm just going to go out there and do it. And... Uh, 
how's your first few weeks on campus? Has it uh, been? Uh, oh, it's been a learning experience, definitely. A little bit colder than North Carolina, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> well, um, I'm happy about it. I feel like I really made a great decision. I cover you guys on a daily basis, so. Uh, um, huh? All right. So here with Tim Kamchak, uh, native of Strongsville, obviously a junior, and uh, you've been here four years now. So uh, you started as a red a red shirt, and uh, now you're a starter. Uh, how's your experience been so far? Um, at first, it was tough, you know, going from being. Uh, a good high school player and uh, getting a lot of minutes and having to walk on and you know having to work really hard just to even get a spot on the team um, you know I like to tell everybody hard work pays off and I, I am where I am because of just working hard and just keeping after it. Um, Coach Waters mentioned uh, the senior uh, committee that's been formed right. and he actually included you even yeah. though you're a junior yeah. what's your role on that? Well um, mostly for me is to learn some leadership characteristics because um, next year, you know, I'm the only junior in the class, so you know, next year I'll have to take over the role as the senior. You know, he just wants me to get a feel for how to lead a group of a group of people and you know how to communicate stuff like that that'll help me for next year. So it, it's good to learn. Uh, obviously, I'm trying to learn all the time, all the time, and he's a great teacher. Uh, what do you see out of this incoming group of freshmen? They're pretty well heralded by a coach. Oh, yeah, this uh, this is by far one of the most talented freshman classes that we've ever had come in. Um, just as, you know, looking at tonight, we've got a lot of athleticism. You know, they fit real well. Our personalities fit together. That's a big thing with us is, you know, having a family atmosphere. So you know, everyone fits well, and it's going to make this uh, season exciting. You were around during the uh, year that they went to the NCAAs. You weren't on the roster, so to speak, but uh, do you see any uh, similarities? Uh, Could- definitely. You know, the seniors that we have this year have definitely motivated everyone underneath them to you know, work hard, be, always be in the gym. And that's kind of the same way uh, my freshman year was. When, when I got here, you know, guys like Cedric Jackson, Jamaican Bullock, George Tandy, Chris Moore, Renard Fields, they all took the younger guys and they, they motivated them to be in the gym. And that's the same way we are now as upperclassmen. And we've learned, you know, from such great leaders. So those are some of the ones. Who's the biggest gym rat? Because those guys were gym rats that you... Uh... Yeah, um, I, I don't know. It's... Most all of us are in the gym every day. You know, we all work out at different times. We got some people that like to come in early in the morning. Some people come in late at night. And so I don't know. This year has been a it's been a big step. Uh, more than any other year, we've been in the gym working on extra stuff, developing our skills. So hopefully it'll translate uh, on the court. Last question, and then you can go. Uh, what do you uh, see out of the freshman class? Uh, who do you like? Who's been impressive to you? Um, I like all the new freshmen. You know, some of them are going to have to step into roles on this team faster than others. Um, so hopefully the maturity gets there. You know, that only comes from experience and playing games. Um, but you know, they're they're a group of great kids. Like I said, they, they all seem well. to have a level head. Yeah, it, that, it's really good when you can get people who have had so much success to come in and still maintain the work ethic that they've had throughout their whole career. So. I think it's going to boost us to the next level and we'll be back to the big dance.